You know, I can't think of anywhere else in the world like Shark Bay. To have such a big, vibrant, relatively untouched seagrass ecosystem, it's pretty much unheard of. It has one of the most amazing assemblages of animals on the planet. But there's one species that's particularly critical here. The presence of tiger sharks changes the dynamics of the bay. Oh, look, it has a beefy, beefy shark. Our work with tiger sharks focuses on when they're here, how many are here, and which habitats they prefer. Okay, go ahead, Mike. 267! One of our main goals is to understand the role of tiger sharks in this ecosystem. Ah, right there. With this information, we can predict what might happen in other places where sharks are disappearing. It turns out to learn about tiger sharks, you have to spend about 95% of your time studying their prey. Okay, turn left here, right here to the left. You know, we have to catch these animals, that's the only way to study them, but we try to minimize any stresses they might encounter. Hang on, what's this? What's this up here? If this is guitar fish, you might need to go. Good. Okay, that's the boat. We have one of the, the world's most in-depth studies of a single ecosystem with intact large predator populations. I'd like to clear away the front here. Okay. Transmitters in. This is an amazing place. This is the way the ocean should be, and it's the only seagrass ecosystem where we can come to answer the question on how do systems work, how did they work, and how can they work in the future.